What's good, y'all? It's not stop. No, no. What's another video? So, just finished watching the plant versus figin boots card, however you want to pronounce it, and uh, want to give you my thoughts and opinions and uh, what's next for Caleb Plant. But first, let me go in on referee Jack Reese, cause I got a bone to pick with him. I'm talking mad shit. Um. So the undercard fight was with uh, Perella versus uh, uh, Abel Ramos. Uh, good fight. Perella was make, was uh, winning the majority of the rounds, and the twelfth and final round with I thought three seconds to go. It was actually one second to go. Jack Reese. All of a sudden wants to stop the fight after a knockdown that occurred. Hmm. That sounds familiar. You're telling me the same Jack Reese that gave Tyson Fury that he, he was on the ground for like nine seconds. Just looking up at the ceiling. Didn't move a muscle. Didn't respond. You're telling me that he let... Jack Reese let Tyson Fury get up from Nat Wilder knockdown. Arguably a knockout. Get up. Walk over to that corner. Walk over to this corner. Walk to me. Let me see your hands. Okay, now fight. You see how long that took me? All that time. And then still let him uh, finish the round and let him fight on? This man stopped basically Perella from uh, winning. One second out. Perella went down. He got hurt. Just like Fury got hurt. But he got hurt. Went down. Got back up. He didn't stay on the ground for like 10 seconds. And just looking at the stars. He got up. He responded. He didn't get the walk over here. Okay, now walk over there. Okay, now walk towards me. He only got the walk over here. Now walk towards me. Knowing that was the final bell or the final round, referees should know how much time's left. And if you even call him back to uh, fight still, with one second, what's going to happen? The bell's going to ring. At least he finishes the round. So we praise this same guy. Well, I don't praise him because it's bullshit. But these people praise this, this same ref that gave Fury chance after chance. Right? But this guy didn't get the same chance. I want consistency. Show me consistency. And th that's... When I call bullshit on Jack Reese, straight up, I don't like that shit. I didn't like it um, for Fury. I got hesitant when I seen him. I was like, ah, shit, it's gonna be some bullshit. When I was live over there at the Tony Harrison versus uh, Charlo fight, and now this fight, this guy needs to go somewhere, man. Be consistent. Just be consistent. That's all I'm asking. Um, let's go with the uh, main event here. <clears throat> uh, first things first is uh, with the main event. Is it just me or is uh, the announcer, uh, Brian Custer, he's fucking annoying, man. He's literally arguing with Lennox Lewis and Joe Goosen, people who really do this. Not just talking about it, being a telecaster, being a, bro uh, a broadcaster. People that actually lived it. And they're going back and forth on who won the first fight with Wilder versus Fury. Or, you know, um, did Jack Reese did a good job, this and that. And you're over here arguing with the Hall of Famer? And a top trainer in Joe Goosen? 
get the fuck out of here, dude. I can't stand that shit. That's just garbage, man. It's annoying. And I bet Joe Goosen and uh, Nanus Lewis was uh, disgusted, too, and annoyed. Like, dude, get this motherfucker out of here, dude. He literally was like the epitome of a, a, a dude that we would fight and argue back and forth on YouTube comments or something. That's what he looked like on this telecast tonight. It was annoying, man. It really was. So, uh, the, the main event with Caleb Plant versus, uh, uh, man, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Let me check this dude's name out again. Uh, poor guy. Versus this Fegan Butts, however, however you want to pronounce it. I know I'm butchering it. Um, it is what it is. It was a homecoming fight. Surprisingly, it didn't turn out, you know, bad because all these homecoming fights recently have been upsets. You know what I mean? Um, check out the J-Rock Rillium fight, you know? That was crazy. Uh, check out the uh, Jared Hurd fight. That was a homecoming fight. That sucked. You get what I mean? So, it went how it was supposed to how it's supposed to go. Um, what can I say about his performance? This was for Caleb Plant. This was expected, man. Um, I saw the weigh in yesterday and Caleb Plant came in, you know, right under 168. And, and this kid and this guy is a kid, this, uh, Figan butts, um, 24 years old. Um, he came in at 165. Like not even that's like three pounds underweight. So that was that was weird to me. Um, just recently, when they were talking about him, you know, about him, um, no amateur fights, learning on the job, um, turned pro at sixteen. Um, just just learning on the job. Versus a guy in plant with a big amateur background. Got all the skills, got the reach, um, got the height, got the got the speed, all the attributes um, over this kid, experience, etc. Um, it it was just a it was a slaughter pretty much. All this kid was doing was just putting up a high guard, um, which was a very good high guard, but it's only going to last so long which that's what happened it was a stoppage via the 10th round 10th or 11th round one of those rounds they, they the ref stopped it um it was a it was a good stoppage you know you didn't want to get the um the kid to get hurt um that much because he really wasn't doing anything he was just handcuffing himself the whole time and letting a uh, plank just get off three four five six uh punch combinations easy Going around the guard, splitting the guard, anything he wanted to do to the point where Plant was going forward because this kid had nothing for him. And Plant never goes forward like that. He's usually, you know, let's face it, fights on his back, on his back foot. Um, only thing I have to say. Um, critique, I can't critique this. This was an A plus performance, obviously. I like Plant as a uh, as a boxer. Um, skills to the max, um, but he needs to start stepping up his opponents. Um, with that being said, um, post fight interview right after the fight. You know, they they asked about, you know, who do you want next and what, you know, what's your plans next? And I got to give them credit for this because fighters don't do this anymore. They usually say what, guys? Oh, it's up to my promoter. Um, we'll, you know, have to uh, look to see what's out there, blah, blah, blah. This is, you know, and go back to the drawing board and, and see what's going on. Nope. Caleb Plant straight out, flat out said, I want David Benavidez next. I want to unify, and I want to unify with David Benavidez. 
period. He didn't say David Benavidez or Canelo or anybody else that wanted to come and get it. No, he specifically said he wants David Benavidez. That's some G shit. Straight up. And I like that. Um, let's see that fight, man. And you know what's better than that? If that fight would have been on the undercard of a Wilder versus Fury 2. Um, but it, it's his own big fight. It really is. You got... You have a... a a move a uh, forward move forward guy in David Benavidez versus you know the the boxer puncher versus uh Caleb Plant it, it's it's a classic it's a classic face off man it, it it really is both uh ready and willing both want to prove themselves and uh it it's it's good stuff. Um, let's see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully that happens. Maybe sometime in the near future. I don't see it soon, soon, but hopefully it's at least this year. That's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine. I'm out.